Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'll be combining my daily duo and my colorful hourly together using the coils that I released. So this is my second order of Anne Condren planners. And I just opted to get the platinum coils that came with it since I didn't really need another coil. And I also didn't have to pay for the extra $10. And, but um, I did pay for the extra $5 for the six months, so that was kind of stupid of me, but oh well. And I did get the, I forgot what pattern this was, but it has three different colors and I wish you could customize it, but it's really pretty. I love dainty little things, so. Um, also, I wanted to keep the coil, but I ended up just snipping off the bended part because I didn't really need it and I could use it for something else um, for a smaller project. So it came, um, the uncoiling process became easier since I didn't have to worry about the bend and it wouldn't ruin my pages. And it did ruin my vellum a little bit, but I already have two other vellums from the Daily Duo, so it didn't really matter. So I'm going to quickly speed through um, the uncoiling process and then I will catch back when I combine everything together. So I combined the weekly spreads um, in front of the dailies. And then after I combined them both, I added a few notes pages to the back, which was from the notebook that I got from my first order. And you get a bunch of sheets, so um, you can at least do a lot of uh, Franken plan with planners. And I like to hold my extra um, stuff in the box that comes in the hourly or the life planner. So I added 10 notes pages to the back and then I added a notes page in front of each month because I wanted to make sure I use this functionally and that the July for some reason does not have a notes page which is really silly. Um, so yeah. So I'll probably keep track of my budget or spending um, using that notes pages. So this is the pretty much the thickness of the six months of hourly and weekly combined. And I did put it off side, um, up to the side so I can combine the last, the next six months. And I also did the same thing. I added 10 notes pages and notes page, uh, note, piece of notes page in front of each month. So in the coil release video, I did say that the coils do come a little longer than the actual planner, so you would have to snip off a bit. So here I'm just coiling um, the two planners that I just made. Also, if you're trying to recoil it, it's better to work on the edge of a surface so you have a bit of leeway so you wouldn't, your hands wouldn't get tired for once. and you would have uh, more room to coil the planner and it would actually be better because then the papers won't be moving around as much. And I would also suggest a binder clip because 
Clearly I don't have a binder clip in. All my pages almost fell out. <laughs> so once you get it going, it's much easier to just coil everything back together since there's no bend. And you can actually add a few more notes pages if you wanted to using these coils. So I actually ended up just turning the planner around and face upside down so it was easier for me to coil everything back together. So it pretty much took at least seven minutes to coil everything back together. So here I'm just going to show you how I bind everything. So it's best to bend the top portion inward and you have to make sure the bottom area is parallel or basically um, the bends are meeting in one straight line instead. So when you um, fold everything back over, it would actually make it seamless. And I do show it in a lower speed um, in the new release video or the coil release video um, a few videos back. So I do leave a bit of leeway or a little bit of coil um, when it gets bent. So I did put back the actual covers and for some reason um, I did see some people say that the barcode is gone, but it's actually not. Um, the layers that come originally on one of the, or the Daily Duo doesn't have a barcode because it's not personalized but one of the other covers is personalized. So there's still a barcode at the bottom. So here, so I put back the cover and I originally wanted to do something with the leftover months, but I ended up doing that off camera. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Until next time, bye.